Welcome to Drafting and Design Center. Today I will give small update on IRC 36 1970 code. This code is written by Indian Road Congress and it applies to earth embankment for roadworks. So basically we will go through the steps for construction of road embankment in a field. So firstly road earth embankments. The two most critical thing requires is the strength of the subgrade. We have to make sure that the platform we are building on it has to be good enough, good shear strength and resistant as well as good load carrying capacity and once it is satisfied it is uh, it is there then uh, the material we use for filling has to be well compacted and we have to make sure that both process has to be followed in accordance with our plan profile cross section as well as specifications as you can see on the screen the road is being constructed on a field embankment and it has uh, two lanes one lane in each way uh, guardrail has been installed along the curve uh, to provide extra uh, protection against overturning runoff of the vehicle it has asphalt surface and battered down in a field so our embankment we talking about today is mainly on a how we can construct that feel of this. You can see my cursor how we can construct the earth embankment, which is nothing but a successive layer of soil we use to put on with the appropriate equipment and then uh, making sure that it has a sufficient moisture content, dry density. Uh, and uh, other criteria which requires according with the code. So today we will discuss about soil property for earth embankment work, structural feature, setting out of the construction, construction operation, placement of embankment, embankment around the structure, finishing operation and quality control. So the soil property for embankment is either we have a field property available next to the road, either we might have to go for borrow pit which might be located at a suitable distance which we are comfortable with. The soil property has to conform with uh, the given uh, points which is provided as a particle size distribution, liquid limit plastic limit, moisture content and dry density and delirious constitutes. So it has to go through this all the criteria the code is asking us uh, which we require to do the soil we use for filling material. So what are they which is given in IRC code as you can see on the screen is, is, is if you can refer my cursor good to excellent you always go for that's a granular material however the embankment is always on a soil so fair to excellent granular material with soil uh, the optimum moisture content is defined uh, if we go for clay poor to fair uh, the optimum moisture content is also defined and uh, uh, silty clay uh, poor to good all moisture content, optimum moisture content, dry density requirement has to be met and it is defined here based on classification. As you can see that uh, the soil is being compacted uh, and, 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 and shaped using the blade of the grader. Here excavator is being used just to put a, put a fill for embankment. The second is a structural feature, the side slope, according to the IRC Indian Road Congress. As you can see here, uh, the preferred is uh, one in, 
uh, one vertical four horizontal uh, if we have a field height less than one and a half meter if we go for three meter the uh, the better slope is one in three 4.5 one in 2.5 and more than six meter it comes to one in two meter one in two uh, and above above one point uh, one point uh, above 15 meter is preferred to have minimum one in two slope uh, and a 2.5 is defined as a verge uh, which allows next to the road uh, road minimum 2.5 based on a traffic speed setting out of the construction as you all aware that setting out can be accomplished with the help of surveying and as you can see on the screen the first is a theodolite which is being used or we can use uh, uh, for surveying and, and, and same way uh, once survey is done we can able to import points and use civil 3d and design the road uh, the uh, road uh, and embankment uh, where actually it passes through so these are the techniques we use to be able to construct uh, a table to be able to create a plans so set out data is nothing but once we have a control point which has a northing easting description and the datum from them our allowment is passing like this one it has all point along the alignment where the alignment is base passing through and it has a northing easting elevation and description of each point every 5 meter uh, so that once we have data we can able to set out for construction construction can be done using the theodolite packs as well as some traditional method which you can see is a perpendicular offsetting is done to define the curve here point of intersection is being used chord is being used and then through the arc likewise to able to create a curve we can able to use uh, points along this alignment uh, and GPS to able to get setting out and is is all the process is for construction prior to that we need to make sure that it has to go through design guidelines in terms of the cover radius in terms of the the verge the clear zone and um, median requirement it has to go to all traffic and road design guideline uh, prior to get to the construction uh, side distance overtaking side distance maneuvering side distance we have to make sure before it get to construction the road design guideline has to be met and this is a part of IRC code which I am referring to construction operation once everything is ready and ready to go uh, we start the construction by uh, by just using a contract as well as uh, the first procedure for construction operation is is clearing uh, as you can see on the screen that uh, the blade is being used to clear up the route uh, compacting and placing the field using excavate the earth smooth drum wheel roller uh, is used for compaction based on a type of the soil we have different compaction and uh, here is excavator is been used just to excavate the soil so they are a starting point for construction placement of embankment uh, which is uh, which is the critical part here and as per the IRC code the dry density of the soil is required to be at least 1.5 cc uh, gram per cc soil between the dry density 1 1.2 1.42 1.52 is required to be treated a soil strengthening is required moisture content shall be in accordance with the table I provided earlier however it, if it is bit of a change in a variation in the moisture content between from 1% above 2% below is permitted compaction of the soil uh, shall be carried out with a thickness of placement about 15 cm to 2.5 so equipment shall be chosen accordance with a 25 cm thickness and compaction requirement depending upon the dry density of the soil so the compaction once we provide in a 25 centimeter of lot 
the it has to meet certain compaction requirement which is defined in the table here as you can see here uh, the dry density maximum dry density 165 gram per cc the minimum standard compaction requirement is provided as the dry density goes up the compaction requirement gets down finishing as you know we have to make sure that every uh, accordance with the ISC standard uh, completion shall be in accordance with the levels dimension plan profile and cross section and specification so it is has to be met and this requirement has to has to be made sure by by the service engineer engineer who is in charge at that time of operation so uh, again uh, whatever the levels dimension shown in a plan profile and cross section and specification has to be met at the end of the construction and quality control during the entire process we have to make sure that gradation of one to two days required for 8000 meter cube of soil plasticity one to two days for 8000 meter cube of soil proctor test one to two days for 8000 cubic meter of soil proctor test or nuclear density test uh, is common for determining dry density and compaction requirement and the what are the compaction and dry density requirement for the soil i already provided earlier and a moisture content uh, which is already i have provided in a table what is the criteria for moisture content for fill at least one test is required for 250 meter cube of soil so these are the quality standard uh, need to be uh, need to be there uh, once uh, once operating shall be in place and has to be required according with the irc code once again thanks you for watching if you like to subscribe our channel if you like to see the videos uh, please subscribe our channel thank you very much bye now